Dear students, welcome to Commercial Subjects Group, Level 3, Accounting 213, Chapter 2. Today, we will explain inventories and cost of sales, the weighted average method, periodic system. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to know the need for stock valuation. The different methods of stock valuation. The calculation of cost of goods sold in closing inventory by using the weighted average method. First, I will remind you of main points we have explained last lesson. To start the lesson with, you need to know what does the word inventory means. Inventory is an asset that is intended for sale or to be used in producing goods. For many companies, inventory represents a large, if not the largest, portion of assets in the balance sheet. The need for inventory valuation. Keep in mind that there are more than one type of inventories owned by business companies, and this depends on the type of activities or operations those companies perform. For example, merchandising company, which purchases finished products and resells them to customers. Consider your local grocery store or retail clothing store. Both of these are merchandising businesses. So, in this case, the term inventory consists of goods purchased in their completed state. The second type of companies are manufacturing companies. A manufacturing business is any business that uses raw materials, parts, and components to assemble finished goods by employing machines, robots, computers, etc. One example of manufacturing business is cars manufacturing companies, such as Ford. So, in this case, the term inventory include raw materials, work in progress, and finished goods awaiting sale. The third type of companies are service companies. A service company is a business that generates income by providing services instead of selling physical products, such as bankers and accountants. For example, accounting companies hold very little, if any, inventories. So, in this case, the term inventory may include a balance of work in progress, which represents services provided but not yet billed. Definition of periodic inventory system. The periodic inventory system is a method of inventory valuation for financial reporting purposes, in which a physical count of the inventory is performed at a specific accounting periods to determine the cost of inventory on hand. Unlike the perpetual system, cost of goods sold under the periodic inventory system is not known at any point in time because valuation is to be done at a specific accounting periods. In our last lesson, I explain the FIFO method of stock valuation. In today's lesson, I will explain here another method of stock valuation, which is weighted average method in periodic inventory system. In this method, we take cost as well as quantity into consideration to calculate the average cost of goods available for sale. Dear student, now I will give you an example of Abdullah company which uses a periodic inventory system. Its records show the following information for the year ended December 31st, 2016, in which 450 units were sold by selling price of 25 BD each. According to the information on the table, in 1st January, the beginning inventory was 100 units with a cost of 10 BD for each unit. On 15th April, Abdullah Company purchased 200 units with a cost of 11 BD for each unit, and so on. 
What is required from you now is two. One, compute cost of goods available for sales. Two, compute the number of units in ending inventory. Three, compute cost of goods sold and cost of ending inventory using weighted average method. Four, compute the gross profit. In requirement number one, you need to calculate the cost of goods available for sale, which is calculated by this formula. Beginning inventory cost plus cost of purchases. So, you need to calculate the cost of inventory, which equals the number of units multiplied by unit cost. Given the information in this table, we will start to calculate the cost of beginning inventory and then inventory purchases from oldest to newest. For example, the cost of beginning inventory will equal 200 multiplied by 10, which equals to 1000 BD. Next, you will calculate the cost of purchases. On 15th April, the cost of purchases will equal to 200 multiplied by 11, and the total cost will be 2200 BD. And the same process will apply for the rest of purchases. Finally, you need to find the total cost of goods available for sale, which equals to 12,000 BD. In requirement number two, you need to calculate the number of ending inventory units, which equals two units available for sales minus units sold. The total units of inventory available for sale according to the information here in the table are 1,000 units, and the number of units sold according to the information given in the question is 450 units. So, the number of ending inventory will be 550 units, which is 1,000 minus 450. In requirement number three, you have to calculate the cost of goods sold and the cost of ending inventory. First, you need to calculate the value of ending inventory. To do that, you need to calculate the weighted average unit cost. You have to apply this formula cost of goods available for sale divided by total units available for sale, which we calculated in requirement one. So that is 12,000 divided by 1,000, and the weighted average unit cost is 12 BD. To calculate the cost of ending inventory, you need to multiply the number of ending inventory units calculated in requirement 2 by the weighted average unit cost we have just calculated. That is 550 multiplied by 12, and the answer is 6,600 BD. Now, you are ready to calculate the cost of goods sold by applying this formula. Cost of goods available for sale minus cost of ending inventory, which is 12,000 minus 6,600 equals to 5,400 BD. The fourth requirement will be to calculate the gross profit, which equals to sales minus cost of goods sold. You have to calculate sales in BD by multiplying number of units sold by the selling price, that is 450 units multiplied by unit selling price of 25 BD minus the cost of goods sold you calculated earlier in requirement three, which equals to 5,400 BD. So the gross profit will be 5,850. Dear student, now, I will explain for you another example here of Mariam Electronics, which show the following data. On 1st of January, the beginning inventory was 4,000 units at cost of 30 BD for each unit. On 18th of January, the company purchased 
6,000 units of inventory at cost of 40 BD for each unit. And on 25th of January, the company sales were 3,000 units at 60 BD selling price for each unit. You are required now to 1. Compute the cost of goods available for sales. 2. Compute the number of units in ending inventory. 3. Compute the cost of ending inventory and cost of goods sold during the period under a periodic inventory system using the weighted average method. 4. Compute the gross profit. To start with, the first requirement, which is to compute the cost of goods available for sales, which equals 2 beginning inventory plus cost of purchases. The cost of beginning inventory is 4,000 units multiplied by 30 BD, which is the cost per unit. And the same thing applies for inventory purchases of 6,000 units. The total cost of goods available for sales will be 360,000 BD. In the second requirement, you need to calculate the number of ending inventory units, which equals two units available for sales minus units sold. The units available for sale are equal to 4,000 plus 6,000, which equals to 10,000 units, minus the number of units sold of 3,000 units, and the answer is 7,000 units in ending inventory. In requirement number three, you have to calculate the cost of goods sold and cost of ending inventory. First, you need to calculate the weighted average unit cost. You have to apply this formula. Cost of goods available for sale, which we calculated in requirement one, divided by total units available for sale. That is 360,000 divided by 10,000, and the weighted average unit cost is 36 BD. To calculate the cost of ending inventory, you need to multiply the number of ending inventory units calculated in requirement 2 by the weighted average unit cost we have just calculated, that is 7,000 multiplied by 36, and the answer is 252,000 BD. Now, you are ready to calculate the cost of goods sold by applying this formula. Cost of goods available for sale minus cost of ending inventory, which is 360,000 minus 252,000 equals to 108,000 BD. The fourth requirement will be to calculate the gross profit, which equals to sales minus cost of goods sold. You have to calculate sales in BD by multiplying number of units sold by the selling price, that is 3,000 units multiplied by unit selling price of 60 BD minus the cost of goods sold you calculated earlier in requirement 3, which equals to 108,000 BD. So the gross profit will be 72,000. Dear student, this is a true or false question. The following information were extracted from the books of Khulud Company. Beginning inventory were 400 units at 20 BD each and purchases of 600 units at 40 BD each during the year of 2018. If the company sold 300 units, the cost of goods sold under weighted average method should be 22,400 BD. So, is the calculation of cost of goods sold under the weighted average method true or false? Do the calculation yourself.
and check your answer. This calculation should be false. The cost of goods sold should be 9,600 BD, calculated in the way mentioned here. Again, here is a true or false question. The following information during May 2018 were as follows. The cost of goods sold and cost of ending inventory under weighted average method were 4,790 BD and 2,130 BD. Do the calculation yourself. This calculation should be false. The calculation is false for the cost of goods sold, which it should be 4,970 BD, calculated in the way mentioned here. Dear students, we reached to the end of this lesson, and you should have achieved the lesson objectives. Thank you very much for your attention. Kindly refer to the student book and ed unit. Read the lesson again and practice with more exercises. Good luck.